Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we are at the Gigabyte booth at the top of the Taipei 101. I'm taking a look at Gigabyte's new Ultrabook, the U24T and U24F. The T obviously stands for the fact that this is touch. Uh, so this is a new Haswell Ultrabook. It's thin, 18.5 millimeters. Uh, let's take a little walk on the system while we're around here. There's the PSU, there's the Thunderbolt connector, we have a full-size HDMI, two USB 3.0s, and a full-size graphics card. You can see around the front all we have are some status LEDs, and then around this side we have a Kensington lock, there are dual headphone and microphone jacks, two USB 2.0s, full-size VGA, and a full-size Ethernet point there as well. There you can see we've got the power buttons and if we take a quick look at the keyboard, uh, love it because it has the full-size shift keys. This is a 14.1 inch gaming laptop so you can see here that it does have the NVIDIA GeForce graphics. It's going to come with a Core i5 version on the T which is the touch and then over here we have the F which is not the touch, exact same chassis, but this is going to come in Core i7 initially. Because uh, uh, Haswell isn't rolling out yet with these devices. They're unsure what they're, what they're going to be doing with Core i7 and Core i5, but right now that's as it stands. Uh, under the hood, we actually have a very interesting setup uh, where Gigabyte's always kind of pushing it to the, uh, to the max. So one of the things that we do love about Gigabyte Ultrabooks is that you do have access to the inside, so you can upgrade the one terabyte hard drive or the 256 gig MSATA SSD. It also has 16 gigs of RAM, which you also have access to as well. And you can see there are a lot of screws back here, so you can pull off the bottom if you want to do some tinkering. Another thing that I'd like to point out when I ram this open is that it does have a backlit keyboard. This is a production sample, so we're not seeing that. Uh, the resolution of the display is 1600 by 900, which is great because if it had anything else, nobody would care. So this has just been a quick look at G Gigabyte's new Ultrabooks, the, UF20, the U24F and the U24T. Touch for this one and non-touch for the F version. So I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks taking a look at what's new with Gigabyte. Yeah.